In this video we are going to explore the roots of a fourth order polynomial to its coefficients. So let's start off with an arbitrary fourth order polynomial ax to the fourth plus bx to the third power plus cx squared plus dx plus e is equal to zero and I'm going to rewrite this equation by dividing through by a so I get x to the fourth plus b on a x cubed plus c on a x squared plus d on a x plus e on a is equal to zero and let's suppose that the constants that satisfy this equation are alpha, beta, gamma and delta so alpha, beta, gamma and delta are the roots or zeros. This then means I can write this equation as the multiplication of x minus alpha by x minus beta, x minus gamma and x minus delta. And if I then proceeded to expand all of these terms out, I would get the following relationships between these roots and the coefficients. So the sum of all of the roots, which I'll write shorthand as the sum of alpha, which is alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta, is equal to the negative of B on A. So the negative of the x cubed coefficient. Then the sum of the paired combinations of the roots, which I'll write shorthand as the sum of alpha beta, and this is equal to alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta is equal to C on A, so the positive of the x squared coefficient or the quadratic coefficient. Then the sum of the triple combinations of the roots, the sum of alpha by beta by gamma, which is alpha by beta by gamma plus alpha beta delta plus alpha gamma delta plus beta gamma delta is equal to negative d on a, so negative of the x coefficient or the linear coefficient, and then the multiplication of all of the roots, so alpha by beta by gamma by delta, is equal to e on a, so equal to the free term. So these are all of the relationships between the coefficients of the polynomial and the four roots of the polynomial. And note that since we have a fourth order polynomial, normally we would expect to get four roots. So knowing this, let's do an example. Okay, so alpha, beta, gamma, and delta are the roots of x to the fourth minus two x cubed plus four x squared plus six x minus 21 equals zero. If alpha plus beta equals zero, solve the equation completely. So first of all, let's write down all of the relationships. So we have alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to positive 2 because it is negative of the x cubed coefficient. Second, we have alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta is equal to 4, which is the x coefficient, x squared coefficient, sorry. Thirdly, we have alpha, beta, gamma plus alpha, beta, delta plus alpha, gamma, delta plus beta, gamma, delta is equal to negative 6. So negative of the 
linear coefficient but as you'll find out we won't actually need this relationship and fourthly we have alpha times beta times gamma times delta is equal to negative 21 and I'm going to circle 1, 2 and 4 to call these relationships equation 1, equation 2 and equation 4 so if we take equation 1 we have alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to 2 well since alpha plus beta equals 0 we have gamma plus delta is equal to 2 and now let's take equation 2 so firstly we have alpha beta but I can factor out an alpha in the second and third terms so I have alpha outside of gamma plus delta and I can factor a beta out of the fourth and fifth terms to get beta outside of gamma plus delta and then the final term gamma times delta remains and this is equal to 4 and note that now I can factor out gamma plus delta so I have alpha and beta plus alpha plus beta times gamma plus delta plus gamma delta is equal to 4 and since alpha plus beta equals 0 this term disappears so we have alpha beta plus gamma delta is equal to 4 so let me write that down alpha beta plus gamma delta is equal to 4 and let me call this equation 5 now I'm going to let u is equal to alpha beta just to simplify things and I'll also let v equals gamma by delta so equation 5 becomes u plus v equals 4 and equation 4 we have u times v is equal to negative 21 so now we can solve these equations simultaneously okay so the factors of negative 21 are negative 1 and 21 and these add to give 20 the next set of factors is negative 3 and 7 and these add to give 4 so by inspection u is equal to negative 3 and v is equal to 7 so with u being equal to negative 3 this implies that alpha beta is equal to negative 3 since we let u equals alpha beta and we also have alpha plus beta equals 0 which is the initial condition that we were given so to satisfy this system of equations we have the results alpha is equal to the square root of 3 and beta is equal to the negative of the square root of 3 and you can satisfy yourself that this result satisfy this system of equations and now with v equals 7 we have gamma delta is equal to 7 and gamma plus delta is equal to 2 so I can write delta is equal to 2 minus gamma and then sub it into gamma delta is equal to 7 and this will leave me with gamma times 2 minus delta is equal to 7 which expands out to the quadratic gamma squared minus 2 gamma plus 7 is equal to 0 and if we use the quadratic formula to solve for this we get gamma is equal to 1 plus or minus i times the square root of 6 and now we don't actually have to solve for delta here because if we substitute this result into here we get pretty much exactly the same result and you can satisfy yourself if you do this so what we can say is that gamma is equal to 1 plus 
i by root 6 and delta is equal to 1 minus i by root 6. So the four roots of our equation are minus root 3, positive root 3, 1 plus i by root 6 and 1 minus i by root 6. And we've also demonstrated the theorem that for a polynomial with real coefficients, complex roots exist as conjugate pairs. Alright, so please give me a thumbs up if this video has helped you better to understand the relationship between roots and coefficients of fourth order polynomials. And please feel free to subscribe for more tutorials. In the meantime, best of luck with your studies and I'll see you next time.